Welcome to my channel IT Smart Training. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel and share my videos a lot. Today our topic is how to remove or demote read only domain controller or RODC in Windows Server 2019. So in my previous video we have installed uh, RODC in uh, lab environment. So today's video is on uh, the demotion or a removal process of RODC. So in my scenario I have created two virtual machines. One is a main DC. This is a read write domain controller. The name is V1. Another one is RODC. DC2. DC2 is my RODC which is named is V2. So I just logged in in v1 means uh, read write domain controller go to run dsa.msc i just check uh, it is uh, uh, a read write domain controller or not go to the domain controller ou here is a two virtual machines or two uh, domain controller is over here one is a dc1 another is dc2 dc1 is uh, in my read write domain controller and dc2 is my read only domain controller means this one so now i uh, remove the rodc uh, rodc in my uh, in the virtual machine 2 so uh, to install rod to uh, remove rodc we have to go to the server manager role So in server manager I have to go to the manage here is an option remove roles and features. So while we install a domain controller or a RODC we have to go to the server manager and install uh, two roles uh, in uh, server manager one is a DNS another one is a active directory domain service. So now we have to uh, to demote RODC we have to untick or uncheck these two options. When I select Active Directory Domain Service uh, options, it just check whether uh, Active Directory Domain Service is installed or not in my environment. It's just checking. Here you can see this uh, server FQDN is uh, uh, dc2.smartlab.com. So I logged in here um, with the name of an user account is RODC admin which is a uh, which is uh, created in our main domain controller which is RODC admin yeah so here is a validation results so validation process found problems on the server from which you want to remove features the selected features cannot be removed from the selected server click ok select different features why this is not removed because we have already the uh, RODC uh, domain controller in my machine so at first we have to demote or remove the active directory in my systems then we have to uh, do some uh, metadata cleanup uh, process manually so uh, metadata cleanups I will uh, uh, describe you later on uh, so now I have to demote this server or demote this domain controller here you can select force removal domain controller or untick so unless this is a last domain controller in the domain you must perform a metadata cleanup manually after removal okay so next proceed with removal here we have to provide a password so if I select uh, force removal from domain controller here also is given these options okay so retain domain controller metadata provide a password this is a uh, administrative password new administrative password uh, means uh, 
which administrative account is in uh, my SAM database I just provide this password here just demote wait few more few moments for demoting you can see that uh, the domain controller is uh, uh, remove I just close it here you can option successfully demoted the activity domain controller just close the system will restart so beside being I just go to the virtual machines one here you can see uh, these options over here see the down arrow is over here means uh, uh, machine is already removed over there wet just logged in see my administrative account is using a local user as a local user I just go to the my computer properties here you can see the FQDN is not removed over here so I have to uh, clean it manually but the, the system is in work group environment so I just remove the DNS suffix just ok it will restart once again uh, sorry sign out and sign in go there what happened let's just delete ok ok close so now it's restarted so here you can see that uh, the DC uh, 2 is already uh, here so I have to delete this account from here so before deleting we have to uh, see some options over here reset all password of the account we are cached in the domain read on the domain controller there is some option uh, we can select this uh, as per my scenario okay I just uh, delete all these things my account is de deleted my computer account is deleted over here and go I just go to the domain dot msc to check here is an uh, delete or not yeah only smartlab.com okay go to uh, ds site dot msc the activity sites and services so here you can see there is a two servers over here DC1 and DC2 just delete it from here so all of my metadata is clear so this one is also logged in So my computer properties you can check that the FQDN is removed over here. So now I have to go to the server manager, manage, remove roles and features, next, next, 
you can remove Active Directory domain services and now it checks it is all, uh, removed or not now uncheck the DNS next restart if required no need to restart it just wait few moments to removal It's take few minutes to remove. Just hold on, stay patience. See the features is uh, removed, and the, my system is restarting. So that uh, in this way we can remove uh, RODC domain controller uh, in my environment. So this is today's lab. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. See the features is successfully removed. Results already removed over here. Server manager. You can check server manager. Uh, that is removed. The finalizing removal process. finalizing you can see that uh, the active directory domain service and the DNS is available to install once again successful removal you can see that these features are ready to install so in this way you can uh, remove RODC from uh, environment so guys uh, please subscribe my channel to uh, stay update uh, and stay smart with IT if you like my videos please subscribe my channel I will show you some uh, very important and uh, very popular labs in my channel so Thank you. Thank you viewers. Thank you once again.